nothing. Yard. Ah! Child. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas, and it's time to celebrate. Mickey Mouse! Mickey! 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 Yeah! Oh! Mickey! Mickey! Good morning, everyone. So today's gonna be pretty low key. The kids have a bunch of Zoom classes again. So that's that's kind of like how it works here at our house. We're kind of shuffling naps and Zoom classes and making sure everybody gets to where they're supposed to be. But I do have one little surprise for the kids today that uh, I'm excited to give them. There was a package that showed up. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what's inside of it. So we're gonna give that to the kids today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna thank you so much for joining us. If you're new here, hi, welcome. We're gonna have a great day. We are collecting people to go do Advent. I have been collected. He has been collected. Duncan wants to be the Advent Elf today. Okay, can you go get Lukey's book, please? Oh, Here, look what it is. What's today, you guys? Number nine. Oh, nine. Number nine. nine. I know where our number nine is. It's right, 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 right. right. Here, right here. Oh, that was a tricky one. Look at the people shopping. What? Here you go. Dad, this is you ready? House. This is this is for you. Good boy! You did it. You got your sticker. Hmm. And number nine goes up here, but you can go ahead and put it in your house pile. Want <laughs> <laughs> to turn it around? I know I those other that. ones are fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Oh, 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 good job! Yeah. Yay! Yay. Good job. Good job. You, ready? you did it. You ready? Square. Square. And then. Wow. wow. It's beautiful. Look at that. Wow, look at that placement. Wait, wait. Did he add to his stacked house? I want to see this. Yeah. Yes, he added to his stacked house. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ziggy zag. Ziggy zag, ziggy zag, ziggy zag, zoom, zoom. 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 Ziggy zag, zag, ziggy zag, zoom, zoom. Yes, Duncan. Who's next? <laughs> Duncan is all about business. He's like, who is next? Um, let's do Parker. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It gets bigger and bigger when you see it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is humongous. <laughs> this is 24. We're doing nine. Um, this is eight. Oh, here it is. Oh, I feel like I saw that and didn't even notice. Me too. <laughs> oh, oh what is it's it? gonna be good. Oh, oh what is that? So this is a lint Lindor truffle, and this is—I feel like this is what this chocolate company, to me, is really known for. And they're so delicious, Parker. I'm so excited for you. I don't know how I'm gonna split this. Can we please cut this with a knife? All right, here you go. Okay. I'm so excited for you to try these. They're so good, Duncan. Here you go, Jacob. Here you go, Bailey. Thank you. Here you go, me. <laughs> <laughs> Take um, a big bite. Get the creaminess. You gotta get the whole thing, Parker. <laughs> this is incredible. Isn't it so good? It tastes. It tasted like chocolate. <laughs> yes. I think that's what they were going for. It's definitely the best part about it. It was so good. Uh, it's Dad's turn. It's my turn? Uh -huh. All right, number nine. Nice little sleigh. Ooh, there's multiple picks in this one, too. What? what? Okay, okay. Is there any more in there? Felt like a lot. Okay. Ooh, these are cool. These are smaller picks. I think these are called jazz picks, but they're really cool. I like them. Okay, day nine. Day nine. 16 days until. Um. 
What's it called? Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. This one is cappuccino truffle. Can I share this? Yeah. You want me to cut it up? Sure. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. There you go, Duncan. Go, Parker. Jelly stuff in it. Okay. I'll make it as fair as I can. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Oh, it's coffee. It's coffee. Mm. That's really good. I love coffee. <laughs> and I love chocolate. Coffee. Ha! Again, it tastes like Starbucks would taste. Starbucks coffee. I've got to try another coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> Do you like coffee now? Uh-huh. I love coffee. Coffee's so good. It's the best thing in the whole entire I like world. I think they're related to me. Thank you. What a good advent elf you are. Okay, so day nine. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, I found it. Good. I found it. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to be help finding it? Try not to wipe your nose off my hand. Okay. Oh. This is a soap. I don't know. And me too. Oh. oh. Get out the, the butter knife. Oh yeah, that's stuck in there. There's no way. <laughs> we use a surprising number of knives for our advent <laughs> It's not worth it. I'm just gonna leave it in. Oh wait, I got it, I got it. It smells like a Christmas tree. Why do they all smell like Christmas trees? Christmas. Mm. I love this. Christmas. Thank you so much, Duncan. I think it's a house. I think it's a house or chapel. I think it's chocolate. I think it's a house or chapel. I think it's chocolate. I think it's a house. It's a house. Wait, I guess it's a chapel. I don't know. That's a church. That's a gingerbread house. Well, we can call it God's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't even need my knife. No. <laughs> Power. They're all very equal. Oh, they are all very equal. Here you, Duncan. you want to go play, buddy? Here. Excuse me, boys. Let me let him on the ground and let him yeah, see. Yeah, Jake. I got the house. Sorry. I've been wanting this house. You got the window or the roof. Yeah. I'm calling this the house piece because it looks like a house. No. Memories. 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 And Advent's done so well. No, it's not. No, it's it most not. certainly is not. There's one little Advent elf who still needs his. Oh. oh who's mad about you? Duncan's next. <laughs> I have a oh my goodness! Or, or again. Or again. Nice. Thank oh. you. That was his favorite color. That was very thoughtful. Thank you. Oh, what? Got it. Ooh. Thank you for staring. Oh. <gasps> Okay, guys, now Advent's done, so let's go explore more. So a little update on Bailey's bee sting. She is feeling a lot better today. The redness that she had yesterday did spread today. This is the, where the redness went to yesterday, and this is where it was at this morning. Which could be totally normal, but we're keeping an eye out for infection. So I spoke with her doctor today, and he said that as of right now, he wants her to apply heat to it and try to like draw out anything that could potentially cause an infection or something. I don't know, I'm not the doctor, I'm just doing what he tells me. And um, then we would reassess at the end of today and see if she needs something like antibiotics. So he likes to take a kind of slow approach and see how the body fights things off, which I think is great. And that's where we're at. But, but overall it's good news because she is feeling way better today and I am hopeful that she's on the mend. The boys have been pretty excited to show me something outside today, so. I am going up the hill to where they are. I'm a little curious what they've been up to. Looks like maybe some digging. Looks like there's been some digging right here on the hill. Oh, I found one of them. Found Jacob. Uh oh. Oh, there's Parker too. We're making mud. You're making mud, oh. That's what you wanted me to see is mud? But not all of it. Come on. All right. What is this? We're working on a beaver dam. 
You're making a beaver dam? Well, they're like house area. It sticks and mud. And mud is like beaver concrete. But after we're done with this, stage we cover it in dirt. And maybe for the top we'll use like cardboard. And so that it does Like a real cold. beaver? No, it's just so that it doesn't collapse. Oh, I see. So you're making like a little beaver house? A beaver yeah. den? Is it called a den? Yeah, I think so. So what inspired you to do this? Well, we kind of saw an episode of Wild Kratts. Okay. That had them at the end building a beaver dam. So that interested us. Wow, this is really cool. Did you know that one stick, if you take out one stick, it could cause a disaster in a beaver dam? One stick could cause a disaster in a beaver dam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you take out one stick, it could cause a disaster. So the boys have been watching a lot of nature shows lately. I guess that inspired this. It also must have inspired all the animal trivia I've been getting lately. Like I'll be making some food for lunch and Jacob will come up and go, did you know this about walruses? And I'd be like, no, I, no, I did not know that. But he's been giving me a lot of trivia lately. And now it's time for animal trivia with Jacob. Did you know that narwhals have tusks and not horns? Did you know that beaver babies are named kits? Did you know narwhals could grow two tusks? Did you know that a snowy owl can eat baby crocodile? Did you know that butterflies go on a trip for 3,000 miles? Did you know that red pandas are in their own species? Did you know that walruses can hold their breath for 20 minutes? Did you know that beavers flap their tails on the water as a signal when danger comes? Did you know that otters are predators to beaver babies? Did you know that walruses' heads are like a helmet so they can crash through the ice? Did you know that crocodiles bury their eggs? And depends on the temperature down below the earth, but they can become a girl or a boy depending on the temperature. Um, so I'm gonna show you this thing. So um, I've got some dirt that we brought, and I got some water that we brought. I got and then I'm going to dump the water a into, little bit of water in a little bit of water into it and then mix it up until it's the perfect amount of water to make the whole entire thing great. So, we need a little bit more water for this. <laughs> one, but a, a little water can go a long way, so we're just going to add a little bit. That's really good. Thank you so much for giving us your mud recipe. <laughs> You're welcome. Two. Just two simple ingredients can give you the perfect organic mud. And it kind of looks like black pancakes when you like squish it like this. Black pancakes. There it is. We put it on like that. So my sister's doing Advent this year and she likes to FaceTime the kids so they can watch while she opens I'm hers. Guessing. <laughs> Like this sort of lid, already, but it's already been used, so it's and, gross. Yes, dried up glue. <laughs> yes. Bailey was pretty close to right, and it's actually kind of like the best thing I've gotten so far. Oh, quality. So we have a family tradition here. Every year we get a new one of these things, and it just got delivered, and the kids haven't seen it yet, so I thought we'd uh, open it? it up on camera. I know. Here you go. I think Jake, I know. You want to do the Next honors? Piece. I love that you're assuming that this is what this is, and it very well might not be because I ordered other things from the same store. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm trusting it. I'm just going with it. I think it might be glue sticks. Well, no. Did I? Did I? I thought you were going to open the box and like wrap it when oh. you said I'm going to give it to the kids as a present. Oh, no. So. Me too. Let's see. Okay. Okay. It was already wrapped. Let's see. What could it be? Oh, I'm wrapping it. Okay. Oh, okay. it's okay. crafts. That's crafts. Okay, that's, that's not the crafts. thing. That's not the thing. Skip that's the thing. That is the thing. There's no crafts. Hey. Like there it is. There it is. What is this? I think this one might be my favorite so far. This cool. is so cool. I'm opening it. I'm opening it. <laughs> Brand new. Remember this moment. Because <laughs> it might break. <laughs> Like almost all of our other ones did. Little elf, another elf. I like the, this window. Is that cool? Normally when there are like windows and stuff, it would I... only be like shops. Uh, it would like be a painting inside Can of it Can I turn or something. it on right now? We flip it on. <gasps> oh my oh. goodness! Oh my, oh I love how it goes through the bottom! I love the lights in in there. 
because it's like little tiny miniature lights like in here. So when it snows, they have to have a greenhouse to put plants in so you can see the flowers are in there and the trees. Isn't that cool? So it can stay the same temperature all year round. Uh, but I see the snow. Yeah, yeah. The, snow, the snow is on the outside of the greenhouse, but do you see how there's no snow in where the plants are? Right in here. Yeah, they're keeping the plants cozy and warm. Oh, look, there's a little hole there. Okay, guys, where should we put it in our Christmas village? <laughs> where should we? <laughs> I don't know. Your, your cowboy what? My cowboy club. You have a cowboy club? Uh-huh, that is having a show in it, and Faith's not in it. Faith's not in the show? Uh-huh. Why not? Because I introduced her into this show. Oh, I'm sorry. And, but, Grandma and Grandpa are in the show. Okay, what's a cowboy club? You're okay, introducing okay. it? Okay. Go you want to tell me about it? Dun, da, 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 I'm having this for I'm having this for my cowboy club. That's for this is Mickey Mouse for my cowboy club. And and we are doing a puppet puppet show for my cowboy club, but it's not but it's not this. Cowboy Club is what you do rope that's a cowboy club rope. And. Oh, you do cowboy club rope stuff? Uh huh. Who's gonna do that? Uh, me. You? Do you have a rope? Uh, yeah, it's outside though. Let's go. We're gonna go outside? No. Okay. Did, did you give up? I didn't know where a rope is for me to go for my rope. Should we go look for one? Yeah. All right. Duncan's got his lasso now. He's got his cowboy rope. So now are you in the cowboy club? Uh -huh. Am I in the cowboy club? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. You're in the show. I'm in the show? Uh-huh. Very cool. How does your lasso work? Can you show me? Whoa, whoa, that's some tricky lasso business. Whoa, who taught you all these tricks? Who taught you all these tricks? I taught myself. Ooh, fancy. Whoa, careful, don't hurt yourself. Whoa. Yeah, that's true. There's a hula, there's two hula hoops. There's one here and one up here and I can't get them down. So, hold on to your hula hoop. You never know if it's gonna end up on the top of the house. Whoa. Whoa. Here, let's see if I can do it without the hula hoop. Okay, ready? Let's see if I can do it without the hula hoop. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeehaw! Woo, gotcha. I was Will Rogers in a high school production of Oklahoma, so I know a little bit of a little bit of trick lasso work. Don't mean to brag. Actually, it was super fun to learn that stuff, but I think in all the performances the lasso got stuck on like my gun holster or my boot or something. Ended up being a little embarrassing, but super fun.
It was the first musical I was ever in. And, uh, and Jessica was in it too. We were in it together. The sun is going down and the boys have just informed me that they have finished their beaver house. So I'm at the top of the hill right now, going to go check it out. Yeah, we did it right before mosquitoes. Right before so, mosquitoes? Yeah. They called me out here right before mosquitoes. All right, so this. Has made some progress. Yeah. So the front, the front part here is what we were seeing before, right around here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, that's the beaver house. And this is the opening over here? Yep. Whoa. It's a one Very man cool. or little. It's, it's a one man, but can t fit two children. And Me four and beavers. Yeah. 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 Probably even five. Do the math. Have you guys crawled into that? Yes, that... we have. How's that going for you? It's super cool. Tight. It's tight? But it's yeah. cool. I'll try it by myself. So you have to fit in that tiny crack. So that's the comfy home. Is it really comfy home? Yeah. How's, how's it feel to be uh, living that, that beaver life? It's so nice. This is the first fort I've ever made that actually you can sleep in probably. You gonna sleep in here? No. no. It's way less comfortable than you think it is. Duncan's going. Can you fit in there? I think so. Uh, How's it? Uh, that could be your little clubhouse, okay? What? Do you want that to be your little it clubhouse? It completely disappears. <laughs> you don't know that he's there. Ah! Child. Ah! Nothing. Yard. Ah! Child. Yeah, that's what beavers hut are for. They're supposed to make a beaver stay safe. Do you feel so, safe, Duncan? Uh -huh. You do? Normally, what happens with the beaver hut is they have it on top of the water, mm -hmm. and then they have secret inner tunnels. So they swim in, and it's nice and dry inside. So otters are dangerous to baby beavers because they can crawl in. The wolves cannot. So the water protects them from the wolves, but not from otters? Yeah. So this is actually cardboard. Oh, the top is cardboard? Yes, and we just like threw some leaves. You can kind of see. Oh, yeah. But we like keeping the leaves on top that if it rains, they'll take care of it. This is actually kind of magic to me because I have never made like a fort outside with like things that can be used rain as sand. And so this is like, kind of like, uh, rain can't get so me cool to me. Uh, rain can't get me if I'm in this fort. If you're in that fort, you're completely protected from the rain? No rain can get to you? Yeah. Pretty this cool. Is, this is my own clubhouse. Your own clubhouse for Cowboy Club? Uh -huh. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that sometimes it takes multiple knives to get through Advent time. We learned our family's secret recipe for making mud. And finally, we learned what a cowboy club is. Kind of. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. So I know the vlog has already ended, but I have a bit of a late night update. Bailey's bee sting appeared to have a little bit of a possible infection, which is why I've been circling the red area with a Sharpie every once in a while. We've been talking with her pediatrician throughout the past couple days and kind of seeing what we should be doing. And this morning he told me that if it gets worse by the afternoon, that we would then be calling in an antibiotic and getting antibiotic for her and helping treat the cellulitis, I think is what it is. And this afternoon, it was looking a lot better. The area that had recently gotten red was looking more like splotchy, her regular skin color and like a little bit of red, but it was looking like it was improving. So I was like, okay, cool, we're good. And then fast forward to now, which is uh, I think a little after 10 o'clock at night, and um, it's now worse. So we had the black line 
from this morning and now it's about half an inch past that black line. It is warm to the touch. It's not super hot, but it is warm. Um, one of her toes is like getting pretty purpley color and that to me is a little concerning. Our doctor wants her to go on antibiotics like immediately. And that means that we either get antibiotics via prescription or through the emergency room. And he recommended, you know, trying to find a place where we could get the prescription filled. However, because of COVID, most of the 24 hour locations for pharmacies have closed down or like temporarily stopped operations. I don't know. I didn't even know anything about it. My doctor was just telling us about it. Um, we were able to locate one that's about an hour away. So we are going to drive to a pharmacy right now. Hopefully everything works out and we can get a prescription filled for Bailey and she will start the antibiotics right away tonight. If for some reason it doesn't work out, we will go to the emergency room tonight. Or the doctor also said she could get on the antibiotics tonight and it could get worse and she might need to go to the emergency room tomorrow anyway. So I know this is Vlogmas, but this is going to be one of those days where we are prioritizing our family's health and making sure that everybody gets enough rest and just going into the day focusing just on Bailey and rest and all of that. We were also going to film a podcast tonight and we won't be doing that. So we'll be delaying our podcast posting if you watch our let's talk about what you, we learned today podcast. <laughs> so um, I'm sorry that those things won't be going up, but we need need to do this right now. So that's what we'll be doing. I think everything will be fine. We just need to act right now. And we also just need to make sure we get rest and take care of ourselves. So that's what we'll be doing. So love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. And um, I'm sorry, this kind of ended on a bummer.